burn my finger. Shit. Great success. So today episode, we're gonna try to attempt or attempt to fix um, this uh, Dewalt compressor. So first, let's connect to the local outlet with the safety breaker. So we're gonna blow up entire city. Let's see what's the story. And power switch. Sounds like ceased. All right. Hold the block, safety first. Let's see what's up. Nice aluminum, but that we don't throw this in the garbage yet. All right, so first we gotta remove this from the chassis. The best way to that's a some like a five eight. I think that's sixty millimeter on it. Yeah, back then the old makes uh, pretty good compressors. It was like a little bit. It was a chunky build. How you can see. And uh, gotta remove those four. That one. Just gonna do a little bit slowly. Wow. I can see right here. Made in Italy. Surprising. Not China. So maybe it's worth to fix. This is a magic presser. This one is a press fitting. You can basically press and remove. It's easy to remove those things. And you can tell it's stuck. 
I was thinking to get to these guts right here. like we got a problem. Okay, so let me show you. There's no oil. Look at this. There's no oil. Nothing. First, let's drain it. So while we're draining, I'm gonna work on it. So it's seized on the cylinder. Let's see if we can be able to. Fix this. It's such a good compressor. It's a good compressor by the way used to be so let's see wow long bolt This is how much oil air compressor contained. A lot. All right. On uh, here, I don't see any scores from that side. And I hope there's not no more. So what we have to do? to protect that it's pretty good so we have to top top a little bit well, it's not bad actually really bad it's pretty all right well, let's see the piston and be honest and be honest Still pretty good. Look at this, guys. No scars. Look, we'll be able to wash. Look at that. 
like a brand new could be. So, the only thing is what I see now is a little problem so far. They're really concerned about. Doesn't want to go. This thing doesn't want to move. Let's just give us some WD, maybe. thinking okay so what we have to do some schmo more Nothing here. Maybe here. That's it. So we got it. We can pour. These things always run out of air. Has a lot of scores, but here I think if we see. Right here. So that's the one thing. And over here, there's the sun as well. I was thinking if I gonna be, if I will run this. With some uh, uh, maybe two thousand cent paper, I'll be able to get rid of these things. So I use regular scratching pad, just you know the stuff you use in a sink, and uh, working back and forth. You got a pretty good result. Yeah, little by little, all over. It looks better than before. I don't know if you see this in the camera. I was even thinking, just go check how much this part cost and now. Uh, and uh, website, maybe I'll be able to find. Oh, 
which way it goes so and the rings you can just basically turn them other sections so it doesn't meet together okay you see if it's that ring it's here 180 the other one and that one let's say we set up in like somewhere here so that'd be alright okay let's put some oil Because it was running without. Right before, I just want to take a picture of it. First, first ring goes there. Okay, press. It's going to be second one. Goes there. And the third one. That's it. And then. Okay. Where was it? Just add it to the torque specs. and smooth. So that's good. There's a special washer. Goes like that. Then the magic Just clean them a little bit. So we can remove that gunk from them. Try to don't bend because otherwise they won't hold. Alright. Get a steel, a 
it's two zeros actually. It's still leaving some, s not too much. Okay. So that one goes like that. You see, that's the another one. Just remove it. Get a look on that filter because it gets lots of stuff gets inside. This one needs to be saddled here. This needs to be go like that. You see. Magnetic energy. Okay, looks like it's gonna work. Can't say nothing. Full synthetic. So, actually, we can test it. If these things will pump or not. And it's probably is gonna be loud. So watch out. It works. That's awesome. I think it's it's gonna be some bleeder over here. Ooh, yeah, 
burn my finger. Shit. Great success. So this is good. The rest I gonna clean when I put together. Awesome. Look at this, 120. Oh, we got a little explosion, but it's okay. It's okay, I can fix this. The only things what I see is supposed to be some like a one way valve. I gotta look on that model number again, but uh. I don't think that's original. Uh, it's not supposed to be like that. That's definitely I can tell you. Or I was thinking to do over here. I was thinking to just punch a couple of holes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is what happens when the piston goes down, there's a creating negative pressure. And that's what's exactly happened. Alright, let's close this again. And that's the regulator for uh, how much air you want to put. I always think there was a pull to adjust. Okay. It's gonna be adjust. Pressure regulator. So just what I want to see. Okay, that's a membrane. It's controlling, but it doesn't control. Yeah, the spring. And I'm talking about this. Okay. Okay. This is that's why it doesn't want to spin. So we gotta give some lube over there. We gotta help him a little bit. Then you got a brass net, and I believe that's a ref left left thread. So I just oh yeah, now it's working. Look. Good. This one goes like that. Yeah, well, if it's working. Then we have a washer. Then we have a spring. The spring goes here. And uh, can actually be better. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And it will work like brand new. I guarantee. pressure to it. it works good I don't think it's that gauge uh, showing right I think there's a issue because I can tell I don't see the difference between the
Yeah. Yeah, but you see the gauge stays on 40, so there's just nothing to... That gauge is broken. But uh, I don't need that because all the time I works on a full... See, even that one works with a couple of holes on it, preventing from spinning oil. So, the job is done, compressor is fixed. Uh, I'll let you guys know if that connecting rod is gonna fail again or not. But, uh, yeah, there was uh, supposed to be scrub, but uh, not anymore. So, yeah, it works. A little bit chunky, heavy, but uh, it's, you know, that's what the Dewalt made them um, back then. That was good ones, actually, back then, because right now it's so crappy. There's no quality in it. All right, so thank you. Spend time with me. See ya.